came over. solid flesh would melt, thaw and resolve into a dew, or that the everlasting had not fixed its cannon against self-slaughter. O oh God, God, how weary, stale, flat, and unprofitable, seem to me that all uses of this world, fee aunt ah fee, tis an unweeded garden that grows to seed, things rank and gross in nature, possess it merely that it should come to this. But two months dead, nay, not so much too, so excellent a king that was to this Hyperion to a satyr, so loving to my mother, that he might not beteem the winds of heaven, visit her face too roughly, heaven and earth. Must I remember why she would hang on him, as if in case of an appetite had yet grown, by what fed on, and yet within a month, let me not think on it. Frailty thy name, this woman. A little month, or ere those shoes were old, with which she followed my poor father's body, like Niobe, all tears. Why she even she? O oh God, a beast that wants discourse of reason would have mourned longer, married with my uncle, my father's brother, but no more like my father, than I to Hercules within a month, ere yet the salt of most unrighteous tears had left the flushing of her galled eyes, she married, oh, most wicked speed to post, with such dexterity to insinuous sheets, it be not, nor can it come to good, but break my heart, for it must hold my tongue. Now. Chandler, are you okay? You've been staring in space for a while now. Uh, yeah, dear, I'm fine. I'm just, I'm thinking is all. I can't get over the fact that my mom married my uncle. How gross is that? They had to have been having an affair before my dad moved. Don't be stupid. That's impossible. Your mom loved your father so much. She could never have an affair. Look here upon this picture, the counterfeit presentment of two brothers. Then why did they get married so quickly? I am but mad north northwest. And then Mac runs into the room. All right. Come here, man. I need to talk to you right now. What's up? I don't mean to freak you out or anything, man, but I swear me and a bunch of other baristas just saw your dad. But he was a girl. What? No way. That's impossible. I told you, I'm not trying to freak you out, but I can't help what I saw. I saw him walk out of a Victoria's Secret with two big bags. He had long blonde hair and was wearing a dress and heels. I went up and talked to him and he said that he that his divorce ruined him. Your mother's new marriage clearly upsets both you and your father. Your stepdad is the root of the cause why something is rotten in the state of New York and the rot will continue spreading while your stepdad and everyone has affected you. Is still around. Your father is lost. The father lost, lost his to preserver. Tis a manly grief. Dad, is that you? 
Yes, Chandler, it is me. My hour is almost come when I, to sulfurous and tormenting flames, must render up myself. Back to Vegas? Listen to me. Okay, Dad. I have come to talk to you about my new self-image. Hmm. You could say. I've been like this for a while now. More matter, less art. For about eight years now, when your mother found out, she didn't have the heart to leave me, but she started to have an affair with my brother. He made me move away to Vegas so he could be with her forever in his heaven while I got to watch them in love down in my hell. For there is nothing either good or bad, but thinking makes it so. To me, it is a prison. And you can stop it. Excuse me. Let me speak to the yet unknown world. How these things came about. New York has been rotten ever since my mom married my uncle. He even tried to send me off to boarding school. I graduated 20 years ago. He's affected so many of my friends in such a negative way that the only way to get rid of this rot is to get rid of him and everyone that he's affected. He's a fishmonger. But... Dad. I need to tell you something. What's up? Monica and I are moving away from New York to Las Vegas so that we can be near you. Ross and Joey and Phoebe and Rachel, they're already looking for apartments there. This way we can get away from my controlling new dad and still follow our friend's lead and live near them. What about your mom and stepdad? What about them? Though this may be madness, yet there is method, isn't it? Don't leave your mother alone with him. He might hurt her while trying to get to you. I won't. I'll talk to her about moving to Las Vegas with us. See you later, Dad. Bye, son.